the best budget gaming keyboard, which is the Epo Maker GK75, coming in at a price tag of $59.99. That is affordable. If at any point during the video you want to check out this exact same product, there's Amazon links below. This is a 75% split design form factor. Build quality here is unreal for the price. The case is a two-piece, semi-translucent, smoky black plastic featuring three different cable channels. So you can choose where your cable slithers to your PC. Dual stage risers are also present here, giving you three different angles of adjustment. A very premium feature here is an addition of a metal knob in the upper right corner. Not only is the knob itself solid metal, but it has a very, very satisfying tactile bump. And not only just the feeling, but also the sound of the knob is really good. This also has a very thick top metal plate with an impressive silicone plate and PCB dampener, then featuring foam in the case. Very impressive. Very impressive. For the switches here, you again have a lot of options here with Epo Maker's Optical Iceberg switches, Gateron Optical Black, Brown, Red, and Yellow, with my choice being either the Iceberg Yellows or the Gateron Optical Yellows. And like I said with the Ractus, these are the same switches here. They're unbelievably smooth. They absolutely have stem wobble, but they have that quicker actuation, a light bottom out force, and I absolutely love these switches for gaming. They are severely underrated. As for hot swap ability, these are hot swappable with other Gateron optical switches. Now the keycaps here are the highest quality on the list by far. Not only are they significantly thicker and have surprisingly crisp lines, similar to very high-end keycaps, pretty surprising at this price point. These also are a different profile called GK5, which is a more rounded spherical top, which is really nice for gaming as your fingers actually actually kind of rest in the keycaps almost. This also comes with extra blue and darker blue color keycaps. So if you prefer not having any of that pink on there, you can easily swap them off, which I really like the look of that kind of stealthy look. Also, it does come with extra keycaps. So if you did at some point want to take these keycaps off and put them on another keyboard, which I could definitely see you doing as, well, they're very nice keycaps, like truly nice keycaps. Now the stabilizers here are great with no tick, no rattle, they feel great. And the spacebar especially has this deep thocky sound for gaming. Now, obviously you're not gonna hear it a ton with headphones on, but the feeling is also fantastic here. All right, but take a listen to the sound test of the GK75. And that is how it sounds. For connectivity, this is wired with a detachable USB Type-C. For RGB, it is an ice blue color. It looks very good on the keyboard. There are a few different modes, but the color is only that ice blue color, which still looks very good as you can change the brightness up and down. And it's overall very fitting. And one of the areas that they definitely saved the money in, well, to then save you money and bring that price point down. But overall, pairing the build quality, dampening, switch choices with premium features like the metal knob and high-end keycaps make this the best budget gaming keyboard on the market. Again, if you want to check out this exact same product, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. And if you want to check out my main channel with longer form content, you can check that out right here. But this is a consumer tech review, high speed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.